Since 2013, the Pacific Training Center for the Blind here in Victoria has been empowering the blind, teaching them the skills necessary to become independent. But right now, this vital school needs your help. Veronica Cooper explains. I was born with a congenital glaucoma myopia, which is a rare form of glaucoma. TJ Evans's sight deteriorated throughout his life, and he became blind 16 years ago. There was no place where I could get intensive training and I was going through quite a bit at that time emotionally wise. I want to thank Sky. I want to thank you again and your and your father for providing us with that online course. Elizabeth Lalonde was born blind. I knew that for a long time that there really was a gap in services for blind adults in Canada basically and I got the opportunity to go to a training center a very po positive empowering one in the States in Louisiana for 10 months. That was in 2010. Elizabeth learned vital skills. In 2013, Elizabeth founded the Pacific Training Center for the Blind. Her school has taught hundreds the skills to be independent. Such as braille and traveling with a long white cane, learning to use a talking computer, learning how to cook and clean, and just live independently and, and productively and happily. I attended the program from the fall of 2013 and I'm still here today. I do training on basically computer technology and I also do iPhone training. Having blind instructors, we are able to problem solve around, um, you know, things that come up in our life and uh, we have each other to be inspired by and, and learn new techniques and new ways because we're living it every day. The Pacific Training Center is a registered charity, but it's expensive to run a school. Right now, probably $10,000 a month, and that's for rent, which costs a lot. You know, we're downtown. The staff wages add up because it's, it's intense training. You know, we may have, say, eight students, but we need at least three or four instructors. We kind of live month to month. Like, are we going to be able to run for the next month? I and mean, things got better for a while where maybe we would know the next six months we're going to be okay, you know? But right now, we've, we're really struggling, um, and we may have to close down for a few months until we get more money, and I really don't want to do that. TJ is now one of the instructors at the Pacific Training Centre, and he doesn't want to think where he would be today without this vital school. There's no place that does what this place does. It's not only taught me how to be independent, it also, it also taught me not to give up, right? Born three and a half months premature, Aiden's optic nerves never developed. He's been blind since birth, and he wants to see this school stay open for the friendships made and... Continue to empower blind people, hopefully help the ones that can problem solve really well, and give people like me who are not quite as good at it as, as we wish we were, um, the skills to improve our knowledge. You can donate to the Pacific Training Center for the Blind on their website, pacifictrainingcenter.ca. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.